Beginning on July 1st and continuing into this week, Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny will lead protests against plans for an increase in the retirement age in Russia. This has been a controversial topic in Russia, one which has sparked demonstrations across the country and is shaping up to be one of the biggest challenges early on in Russian President Vladimir Putin's fourth term. On July 6th, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo is expected to return to North Korea for a follow-up meeting to the Trump-Kim summit. Following the vague declaration that came out of the Singapore summit, Pompeo's trip will get to the specifics of North Korea's process towards denuclearization. We'll be watching for how much North Korea is willing to concede and how much Washington is willing to compromise on its own demands of dismantling North Korea's nuclear capability. On July 2nd in India, an estimated 700,000 people, drawn from trade unions to laborers to farmers, are expected to protest Walmart's recent acquisition of a $16 billion stake in Flipkart, India's leading e-commerce company. This item is important because it highlights the tension between the incredible growth potential of India's $27 billion e-commerce market on the one hand, and the sensitivities inherent in large portions of India's labor market against the local presence of multi-billion dollar foreign corporations on the other.